All right, in this video, we're going to teach you enough to be dangerous with the FET Function Builder Sim. So here I am in the full screen version of it, and I can see the patterns part of the sim is highlighted. There's other parts of the sim too. There's a part called numbers, there's another part called equations, and there's a mystery part. Let's just start by looking at the patterns part and see how it works. So the whole purpose of this sim is to help you understand that a function takes an input, and that's all these things on this side. These are called inputs, and it transforms it or changes it, and there's an output on this side. So you put something into a function, something happens to it, and it comes out the other side. So let's, let's just take a look. If I put these feet in the function, they come out just the same way. So let's take a look. This little dotted line, this is where you can change the function. So if I, for instance, say I'd like to put this little rainbow into the function, into the, into the definition of the function, now let's see what happens. If I take the feet, put them in, okay, they changed color. If I take this butterfly and put it in, okay, it changed color. All right, let's put the rainbow back. Let's try using this one. This one rotates things. So let's take this one and let's try putting our little guy in there. Okay, it rotated him 180 degrees. So I can go down here and I could try the beaker. You'll see, so my function, the input is a regular beaker. The function rotates that beaker. That's what it does to it. And the output is an upside down beaker. Let's put in the cherries. Okay, let's put that back. Let's try another one here. Let's see uh, this one. So the mirror, you can probably tell what this is gonna do. So if I take the cherries and put that in the mirror, okay, now they were kind of swinging to the right. Now the output is swinging to the left because I have a mirror. Now. The mirror, if I put the beaker in there, doesn't change anything. Why is that? Well, the mirror just flips it around. Like if you had a dotted line through here, it rotates it around that line. Well, this beaker is symmetrical on both sides, so it doesn't change anything. Now, if I, instead of the mirror, use this little rotation, this is a quarter rotation. Now you can see what it did. It, did. it rotated it this way. So. Like if I take the planet and put that in, it's going to rotate it, boom. So this is a very simple function where just one thing happens. You can try this one right here. This one would allow you to have the function do up to three things. So let's try to do a couple things. Let's maybe try this rotate one. And then let's also try this little camera one. This is actually what's called a black and white camera. You'll see what happens. So I'm going to put in the butterfly and we know it's going to rotate it and then it's going to turn it black and white because the function is doing two things to the input. So let's put the input in and sure enough it gets rotated and it gets turned black and white. So you can experiment with this. There's other effects. There's other little inputs you can put in. There's some I didn't even look at yet. Let's try putting in like the, the triangle, see what happens. Okay, rotated it in that. So I'll let you put in things like the star and do that. You play around with that. So that is the, um, that's the function builder sim. Now at the bottom here, we just have been doing the patterns part. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look at another part. Okay. So this one, I don't know. Okay, so this is actually going to show you the input and output, the table. All right, so let's get rid of those. So let's go ahead and let's put in like a one to our function. Okay, a one comes back out because we didn't do anything. But what if inside of our function we said we'd like to subtract one so now do you notice how that's a zero? Because if you put a one in, 
If you put a one into the function, it's gonna subtract one and the output's gonna be zero. If you put a three into the function, it's gonna subtract one, it's gonna be zero. I'm sorry, three minus one is two. So let's put, let's put these back through the function. Zero and we're undoing it, so now it adds one. And you can see we've got all kinds of numbers we can put in here. We also can have our function be different things. So we could have it multiply by two. So here, let's put in a seven. We're gonna first, you know, think about what's gonna happen. You're gonna subtract one, and then you're gonna multiply that by two. So you think in your head what's gonna happen, and I'll do it. All right, did you think it would be 12? Let's go back. Let's talk it through. So if I'm gonna pick seven, if I subtract one from that, that is gonna now be six. Because I took seven minus one, it's six. It's not showing you, but, and then if I multiply that by two, six times two is 12. Now let's see if we expand this, what happened? Okay, so here we're just making, it's just showing a table of values. So let's try another one. Let's take uh, two. If I put in two to take away one, you get one times two, we'll let go, boom. So this is just like a table, like an X, Y table. And so this is just showing you that as you put an input into the function, that's like putting X into an equation, you get out another answer. The function is giving you an output. So you play around with these. I think there's other ones that divide, sure. So I'm gonna leave this to you now. You can take a look. Um, your assignment is described well, so you know you're gonna need to take screenshots. One thing I was gonna mention to you is the way you take screenshots in this app is you just click on the three little lines here, down here, if I click it, it lets you take a screenshot and then it's gonna let you, um, you know, save that somewhere. I think on your Chromebook, it'll just save it, you know, right on your, um, on your hard drive or in your Google Drive. So you can name that whatever you want. And then later when you make your slideshow or your um, document, you'll be able to include those screenshots to go with your explanation. So you're gonna be in this assignment explaining, you know, how this sim works and what it teaches you about functions like inputs and outputs and what functions are. So hope this helps. Um, we'll see you later.